Hello, my name is Dwayne Blatt. In this next video, we're going to look at fitting a hockey skate. Fitting a planer for the proper skate can sometimes be very challenging. There's a lot of different elements that go to getting the proper skate. First of all, the sizing of a hockey skate is different than that of a shoe. We also want to make sure that we know the width of our player's skate. Skates come in different widths, so you can get a narrow foot or a wider foot all the way from D to E to double E. So you want to make sure that you know the sizing of your player's foot. When you're going to get fitted for a skate, you also want to make sure that that skate is a quality skate. So that the boot has integrity, it's strong, and it's not worn out. It's simple to do this. All you need to do is grab the skate and make sure that you push on the sides. If the side of the skates can collapse very easily where you can touch your hands together without any effort, then that skate's not gonna have enough support for that player. You wanna make sure that the boot is stiff. They're designed to be stiff in order to support the ankle and the foot. So you wanna make sure that that boot is stiff when you're compressing the sides. When a player puts a skate on, an easy way to tell if the skate fits properly or not is by simply having the skate loose. Leave the skate loose, get the player to put their foot in the boot, and toe tap. And what I mean by toe tapping is tap the toe on the ground and make sure that their toes are touching the toe cap of the skate. So right at the front of the skate. Now get them to stand up normally in their skate and lean all the way forward as far as they can. You're gonna see a gap down the back of the boot. And when you look at the gap in the back of the boot, if you can fit an entire finger down there, an index finger, then that skate's gonna be too big. That's gonna cause too much movement inside the skate. We wanna make sure that that boot fits properly. We should have no more than a pinky finger gap in between our foot and the back of the skate. And finally, when you're tying up the skates and you're making sure that that fit is right, we want to always do our skates up to our top eyelet. We often see players with the top eyelet or the top two eyelets undone, which causes a tremendous amount of movement in their ankle, which unfortunately hurts their ability to skate and maintain balance on the ice. We also want to tie our skates nice and snug from the bottom all the way to the top. If we leave the bottom two or three laces loose, the entire skate is going to loosen up as we're skating. We like to make sure that we start tying the skate nice and snug from the bottom all the way to the top. We shouldn't be able to get fingers in between the laces or our fingers down the side of the boot. Once you've chosen the proper fitted skate with the correct amount of support, it's going to make hockey or skating much more enjoyable.